Salutations, crustaceans. I'm Lobster, and today we are going to be reviewing the brand new Harley Benton MV4 JB Goto. Let's do this. This is the brand new Harley Benton MV4 JB Goto, their latest and greatest jazz bass offering. And today we are going to see if this is the best beginner jazz bass to get. This has a lot of awesome features, which you usually don't see on a bass sub $200. And this bass comes in at $191 plus shipping. And we'll be going over all the specs of this bass so you can see why that number is so impressive. Featuring an alder body with a Daphne blue finish. There are other finishes available. Check out the link down below. And we have a torque pick guard here. Very nice looking in contrast with this blue. We have two single coil Roswell pickups. These are Harley Benton's in-house pickups. These are all Nico 5 and definitely are going for a vintage style tone. For controls, we have the typical jazz bass plate with a volume volume tone configuration. Everything works well, and I've had no issues with these thus far. For the bridge, we have a Wilkinson bridge. This is a nice premium touch for a budget bass. This is a Fender style bridge, meaning that you can replace this with Fender style aftermarket bridges if you want a high mass one or anything like that. However, this is a nice premium touch given that we have brass saddles and an overall more premium construction versus something like you'd see on a budget Squire. Moving up to the neck, this is where things get really nice. We have a roasted maple neck with an Indian laurel fingerboard, 20 medium frets, 34 inch scale, and a 38 millimeter nut width. We also have blocks and a binding on here, and the quality on these is really nice. I also have to compliment the fret work. There are no pokey frets on this, and the frets are extremely level. I was really impressed with the setup of this bass out of the box. I really didn't have to adjust much. I think I just had to raise the E string on one side just a smidge. But other than that, I just restrung it and everything plays great. And moving up to the headstock, things get even better with a color matched facing. So the front of the headstock is painted in the same Daphne blue as the body. And if you get the other finishes, the headstock will be painted that color as well. We also have a really nice Harley Benton logo that's in this metallic font. It looks very premium. And what also looks very premium is these made in Japan Goto GB7 tuners. Very high quality. And it feels almost dirty to be stringing up this bass and having a sub $200 instrument just tune up so nicely. These tune like butter, like butter. Now let's go ahead and turn this bass around. Around back, there's not a lot to see here other than the beautiful Daphne blue finish. And we have a four screw neck attachment. There is no angled neck heel. This is just kind of squared off. Pretty typical of a budget Fender style jazz bass. And we have again a four screw neck attachment with a neck plate and the back of this beautiful roasted maple neck. The skunk stripe is made of rose acre, which from what I understand is like a mega roasted maple. And then moving up to the headstock, we can see the back of these Godo tuners. Now, one small knock on this bass, looking at the headstock, there is no marking for the country of origin for this particular instrument. And I haven't seen it on any other examples of this bass either. Now, other Harley Bentons that I purchased have either said made in China or made in Indonesia on the back of the headstock. And I do feel that is important. Now, how much does the Harley Benton MV4 JB Goto weigh? This particular example comes in at, have a seat. Have a seat. 10.8 pounds. This base is nearly 11 pounds. Yeah. So that is another thing I definitely have to knock this base for. So out of all the budget jazz bases that I've tested thus far, this is the heaviest one by a long shot. Both of these squires that I've recently reviewed or revisited, the Paranormal as well as the late 60s classic vibe, both came in at around nine, nine and a half pounds. And the recent Sire V5s that I reviewed have been between eight and a half and nine pounds as well. 11 pounds is a bit much for a bass like this. And how much does the Harley Benton MV4 JB Goto cost? These come in at $191 plus shipping. Now, when I purchased this base, I purchased it alongside another Harley Benton model and the combined shipping was $66. So that's $33 per base. 
However, I also looked it up if I were to just buy this base, shipping would also be around $60. Shipping may vary depending on where you are, so I'm just gonna say it's $191 US plus shipping, which you're definitely gonna have to pay for in some way. But I know you're all wondering, what does this base sound like? You all know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. Not bad, not bad. So this is the Harley Benton MV4 JB. Now, off the bat, I have to say that out of all the budget jazz basses that we've looked at, this is definitely one of the noisier ones, both when holding the strings or when not holding the strings. You definitely get a lot of buzzing and humming going on. I know that can be remedied with some proper shielding and some ground continuity, but outside of that, out of the box, this is quite a bit noisy. But I have to say, it definitely doesn't sound bad with these Elnico 5 pickups. What you've heard is everything at 100%. Let's do that one more time. So the neck on this bass is really nice. Really, really nice. There's no pokey frets, as I mentioned before. The finish is incredibly smooth, and it's just fun to play, especially when sitting down because this bass is hefty. Now let's check out these pickups individually. Again, these are Alnico 5 Roswell in-house pickups. Here's the neck pickup with the tone at 100%. Not bad at all. Let's take the tone down to about 50% now. And here's the tone all the way down. Not bad at all. The tone control is definitely functional, though it doesn't feel that linear. But to be honest, the quality of the pots is usually the thing that's lacking on budget bases like this, so that's somewhat to be expected. Now let's go ahead and solo the bridge pickup here with the tone all the way open. <laughs> Now let's take the tone down to about 50%. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
here's the tone all the way down. Let's take the tone back up and we'll bring the neck pickup back into the mix. Have both pickups at 100%. Not bad. With both pickups engaged, you definitely get that nice vintage jazz bass growl. Though I have to say that, comparatively speaking, the pickups in the classic vibe, uh, late 60s jazz bass, definitely sound better to my ears. Next, let's take the tone down to about 50%. <laughs> Next, let's take the tone all the way down. Let's go ahead and take the tone back up and let's start playing this bass with a pick. with a pick. Let's uh, solo the neck pickup now with a pick. Actually, with a pick, this thing sounds pretty gnarly. Now, staying on the neck pickup, let's go ahead and see how she slaps. Not bad. Let's bring the bridge pickup back and slap once more. And finally, let's go ahead and throw some drums behind this bass. Ooh. 
a final thoughts on the Harley Benton MV4 JB Goto. I think that this particular bass is quite nice and a compelling package for a sub $200 jazz bass, plus shipping. You get really nice construction, gorgeous colors, high quality hardware, especially with these Goto GB7 tuners, and just a nice neck with great fretwork, awesome feel, very smooth. The only downsides, in my opinion, are the weight, with this one coming in at 11 pounds, and the electronics, which are a bit noisy. I know it's a sub $200 jazz bass, but it did feel a bit noisier than the JB40FL, which I reviewed and subsequently modded. As a mod platform, this is surprisingly solid, and I think a nice set of pickups is all you really need to turn this into a budget beast. As long as the weight is not a detractor for you, because again, 11 pounds, so that's a lot of bass for you. But what am I going to rate the Harley Benton MV4 JB Goto? Ugh. I'm gonna rate this bass. Four claws out of five. Harley Benton has given us quite the compelling package here with the awesome roasted maple neck, high quality hardware, and really cool finishes. The weight is gonna definitely be a deal breaker for some people, and these electronics are nothing to get too excited about. That being said, electronics on budget jazz basses like these are often swapped out for something more high quality to achieve, I guess, more of the bass's potential. But the bones are here. I have to say that those bones are quite a bit heavy though, and if that's a deal breaker for you, I think you should probably look elsewhere at budget jazz basses. The Squire offerings that we've looked at are coming in at around nine to nine and a half pounds, and the Sire offerings that we've recently looked at as well come in at around nine pounds. So if you wanna save a few bucks but have to deal with some weight, check out this Harley Benton MV4 JB Goto because these are quite nice. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord channel, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the Harley Benton MV4 JB Goto. And as always, until we groove again.